Hi tech lovers, welcome back. So last section, we talked about power over ethernet. But today, we are upgrading to fiber optics. Because sometimes, you need to send data at the speed of light. But let's get overwhelmed. First, you have different fiber optic cable, like OS1, OS2, OM1 to OM5, and transceivers like SFP, SFP+, and connectors, LC, SC, ST. Why so many options? So it's easy to feel lost. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be a fiber pro, so let's untangle it. So why upgrading to fiber? Three simple words. Speed, distance, and reliability. Unlike copper, fiber doesn't care about thunderstorm, radio interference, or your neighbor's DIY EMP project. Plus, it shoots data 100 plus kilometers. Oh, hackers, they will hate you. Fiber doesn't leak signal, so it's perfect for a secure surveillance system. And with all these different fiber optic gears to pick from, here's the secret. You should start with the transceivers. It is the brain that decides speed and distance. If you need 10 gigabit per second over 10 kilometers, your transceiver choice dictates everything else. So let's simplify. The order should be transceiver that determines speed or distance, then choose your fiber type and your connector. So first, the transceivers. They're the translators of your fiber network. They turn electrical signals into lights and back. Here we have a 1G transceivers that's called SFP. They're for basic 1080p cameras or small system. And here we have the 10G SFP Plus for 4K cameras multi-camera speed, or future upgrades. We also have the QSFP that has 25G, 40G, or even 100G, but they're overkill for most cameras. Then you have to choose your fiber optic cable. We have single mode and mounted mode, and it depends on how far is your data traveling. So we have two main types of fiber, single mode and mounted mode. Single mode, like OS1 or OS2, use laser light. It has thinner core and enables to go smile. If you get cameras in a remote oil rig or a highway miles away, single mode laughs at distance. Plus, it's future proof. If you want to upgrade to 100G someday, just swap the transceiver, not the cable. Then we have mountain mode fiber like OM3 or OM4. They have thicker core and shorter runs, usually up to 550 meters. So it's great for campuses, office buildings, or a server room. So think of it as a sport car. Fast, but only on a short track. And connectors matter. Now let's meet our connectors. This is the LC connector, the space saver. It fits high density panel. And this is SC connector. They're reliable but bulkier. And they're common in telecom. And here's the ST connector. This is the bayonet style fiber. You twist it to lock, like screwing in a light bulb. Bulky with a round barrel. And it's suitable for industrial environment where ruggedness is important. But unless you have a legacy system, you should stick with LC and SC connectors. And for my opinion, LC connectors wins for a security camera system because they support more ports and less clutter. So in conclusion, for most security camera system, we suggest single mode fiber plus LC connectors. Why? Cameras are often miles apart, so single mode can support the distance. And LC connectors save rack space. And pair it with the SFP Plus transceivers for future-proof speed. And the pro tip is, always plan for more speed than you need today, because 8K cameras are coming. And not to forget, use a switch that supports SFP transceivers.
And next week, we're going to talk about duplex signal on fiber optic. So feel free to drop a comment or tell us your fiber horror stories. And I'll see you in our next video.